If I gave you this map and told you to head north from the forest, you'd probably get lost. That's because you might not be looking at the map the same way I did. That's why maps have a compass rose. So we're all on the same page and we know the right direction to go. Because people are always moving around, it's also important that all medical personnel are on the same page. And that's why they created the anatomical position. So that everybody's looking at the same person in the same way. Anatomical position. The subject's going to be standing straight up, nice and tall. Eyes are going to be facing forward, arms to the side, palms are also going to be forward. Legs are going to be together, parallel, and the toes are going to be pointing straight at you. That's the anatomical position. See, the problem with people is that people move. They can be laying down on their belly, they can be laying on their back, they can be standing up, they could be doing freaking jumping jacks. Who knows? But as long as you're looking at them on paper or in your mind in the anatomical position, then you know the right direction to go. So in essence, all anatomical position is, is a map. Now since people were unwilling to tattoo a compass rose on their forehead, we had to come up with another solution. So we use words. Anterior means in front of the body or close to the front. Posterior means something in the back of the body or close to the back. Then there's medial, which refers to a location or position towards the midline, and then lateral, which refers to a location or position further from the midline. Then we have which is basically north and south. You have the superior, which is referring to something that is above another structure, and inferior, which is referring to something that is below another structure. Now, we do have some special terminology that is just used to describe locations on the extremities. We have proximal, which basically means towards the trunk of the body, and then distal, which means away from the trunk of the body. Now, this video covers the basic anatomical position and some of the descriptive terminology that goes with it. I hope this helps you get a better understanding of what's going on. And uh, until next time, I'm Kinesiology Chris. Happy studying, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to let you know, one week only, this week only, you can subscribe for free. <laughs>